So, uh, hello, my friends. Hopefully, you are doing great. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you about uh, inheritance, uh, the second uh, principle uh, in Java object uh, oriented programming. So, we already knew about the first principle. Uh, it was uh, encapsula uh, encapsulation, right? So, this is the second one in Heuriston. So, from Oracle Java document, we have the, the definition that a class that is derived from another class is called a subclass, or we can call a child class. And the class from his, the subclass is de de derived or inherited is called a superclass, a parent class, a base class. So we have a base class and we have another class in Horizon. Okay, so <clears throat> we are going to you got to see what is derived means. Okay, so let's go back to the ID and you create a new package with the name lesson uh, 18 and you create a new class with the name animal here. So it will be a very simple, uh, um, very uh, basic thing here. Uh, an animal, you have a name, okay? So just declare something like private name as a string. And we will have private string, maybe color. And I will create a class uh, animal as public here and we put string name and string color so I will set this dot name equal name and <clears throat> This dot color equal color. By the way, sorry for any background noise around here. Okay. Let me close the door. Okay, so here we will have uh, something like um, public void uh, max out here inside and I will do something like, um, I will print out something like, oh, it's not so big. Making sound here. So basically this is the base class, the parent class. And now I would create a new class with the name character view in risk from this class. And we will see what is the difference between a uh, a trial class and a super class. So let's create a new class under the same package uh, here with the name cat enter. And in this case, I want to inherit from the animal class. So I will give the keywords extend here and I will extend the animal class. So you see there's a succession from ID that we need to create the constructor from matching super so you can use or you can memorize yourself that you need to create a constructor because inside this super class, we don't have any default constructor. That means you already knew about constructor. So I don't need to um, tell you again. Okay, so we don't have any default constructor. So in this case, I want to fox for any uh, inherited class that need to create a new constructor, then I will call super, super. So you see super is will call the parent class constructor. So that means when I call super, it will refer to the parent class constructor. And in this parent class constructor, it needs two parameter. So that means you need to provide two parameter. So in the trial class here, constructor, we need to get something like name here and the string color inside from input. Then you call super name and 
color. So this is the way we inherit. So before we go more in details about inheritance, let's try to execute, uh, let's try to create a new instance from the cast class, the cast class first, and then to see whether we can view anything from the super class. So let's try to create a main method inside here, and I will create a cat um, equal new cat. And in this case, I want to put something like uh, cat one, and the color is black again. So now from the instance that I have just created, I view you cat and dot. You see max out. I use the max out here. So the max out method, you see, is not in this class. So that means it's using from the super class here, you see. So the first thing you can remember that when you inherit from another class, you can use uh, the parent class. But if you put something like private here, you will see you cannot accept anymore because when you use something private, that means you just use the methods of rival inside this methods only uh, in this class only, and you cannot use anywhere, call anywhere from outside, even this is a trial of a super class. So if you want to introduce for another place or another class can inherit and use, you need to make it public. Okay, or default or protect it here. So we will talk more about access modifier in details, but you need to remember if you want your subclass can use the method inside the parent, it should be default, uh, public, or protected. In case this one is the same package, okay? I will tell in more detail about the access modifier later. For example, if we have default or protected, there are some restrictions if the subclass is uh, in another place. But you know, when we put something under a package, so that means all the related class should be under the same package so we can put protect it is it is safe but i mean i will tell you in detail later so just put it back to the public first okay and then now you run your program here and then you will see uh making sound will be printed out here you see it's skill from making sound from the parent so that means we are using something very common from the parent class so because I think that this is common methods and any any more that we are going to make, they can make a sound. But now I think in different so a cast will make some another sound, right? So I wanna override. So you already knew about methods overloading and now we will learn about methods uh overwriting okay overwriting so that means we are going to to overwrite a, a a method okay sorry uh okay i think i can close the the video <laughs> sorry for that uh okay let me close the video uh just a moment uh okay so now I will give the methods overwriting. Sorry for the background noise, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to give the method overwriting to override this method from the, the parent class. So how can I do that? I will use something like publish, uh, max out, voice max out here. And you see, you see two things. The first thing you will see the annotation override here. So if you delete it, it's okay as well, but for easier for people to read your code and understand that you are going to override uh, another method from this one so they can recognize easier. But if you delete, it's uh, 
okay but um my succession you just put it here by default and you see in the left here the ide have the succession if you click here it will navigate you here okay so even you delete this one and if you see here you can navigate back here okay so just put it back so we are going to do the methods overriding and now i will call super dot max out so if you call super is view and the function uh, and the double bracket here does mean you are going to assess the, the, the parent constructor but if you use super dot and the name of the method that means you are going to execute the parent method here so in this case i don't want to execute anything from super for example uh i will put something like uh mail mail and then i run again to see and then you can see the different uh just control r and you see mail mail it's now mail mail so for example if i have another class with the name dog enter and then i extend from the animal class I just do the succession from IDE here and the name and the color here, and then go into override the max out here. I will print out something like uh, whoa, whoa, something like that, like this. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, something like this. And then let me create, uh, for example, let me put back in the main method here. It doesn't matter. So it should be something like jog. Uh, should be equal new jog. And with the name like dog01. And the color is the black again. Then the dog go into max some sound. Max out here, and then you run again this method. You will see we have mail mail for for so that's mean you are going to use the same methods from the parent class, but because you already override in the subclass, so you can you know rewrite the whole, the whole logic inside. So for example, if you put back something like you want to call something like super dot max out. And then you run again, you will see uh, making sound and then mail mail here. If I put something like super dot max out, can you guys go outside and play? Okay. So no. give me the four pack. Give, 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 give. Hey, hey. Thomas, Thomas, give, give me the four. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> I just, um, this just playing around. Uh, okay. So if you run the program again, you see, making sound, meow, meow, making sound, whoa, whoa. So the making sound here has come from the default method. But after that, we try to rewrite something more. So we outright and then we have another thing. So just summary before we go more, okay? So you create a class and then you make something very common and you see that uh, something common and then, you know, we have animal, we have cats, we have dog and you say that um, any animals that you are going to create, if you have the max out methods. So that means you have in the cat and in the dog, we have the max out methods, but inside we need to override something. So we call it the methods overriding. Okay, and beside us, we can here you see super here to call the the super class uh, constructor to set something. Okay, so go more deep dive. I put something like private here, private here. So that means inside this one, if I put something like this dot name, you see. This dot name, you don't have any name here because when you refer this dot name, but you don't have any names inside. For example, you have something like private uh, string. 
uh, name like this so you can accept what you see here it's a um, private string name <laughs> equal so you assign here so this dot name you refer it's not going to refer to the any more class here but you are referring the name here so you are mess mess you know messing up the thing here because you already have the name inside and then you put the name outside here so it doesn't make anything here so do not do that okay so when you put something private in the super class at attribute here that means you are telling people that okay everything inside is private and the logic i just published the logic how how can you do and how can you override but i'm not going to publish something inside here so this is kind of encapsulation again that we already uh, had in another lesson, okay? But if I put something public here, or default, or protected, even protected. So in this case, you can access something like this, does name inside equal something, okay? This dot name equals something. So that means you can accept directly here okay so uh it's up to you it's up to um your uh, you know your application logic but we will tell more about the abstraction later so you can have more idea how can do something like that but in this case it doesn't make any sense if you change uh the name inside okay so you can have something if you can change the name for the cat or the dog, you can just do something like this. Let me try to help you how to do that. So you will separate some gesture. So you right click here and you separate gesture for both of them. And then in this case, you have guest name, set name. Okay, so you will have something like uh, Sit them out, uh, something like I am, and you put this dot guest them, and then you run again. You will see how can you assess I am cast one. You see, this is the way, the correct way for you to do. So we are using the encapsulation here. That means we just provide some common public method and then inside the subclass, we can override or we can just access some public methods from the parent class. This is the inheritance. So every single class in Java, they are, they are inheriting a class with the name object. So let's do something like two string here. And then you will see you are going to override something. But you see, this class anymore, you didn't do the extend case work. So why we have something like up right here? So if you click here, it will refer you to an object with the name object. So this class is the, you know, something like the parents of parents. Is it a, every single class by default view inherit from this class? Okay. So if you have another class here and you extend from any more but any more is extend by default from object class so that's why when you put something like two string uh you are going to override the default method inside here you go inside you see return guest class name and something but now you're going to override the logic inside with for example any more name and color something like that so if I try to do something like cast dot to string, now I will access to the to string of this animal class and I will print something different. So where is it? Okay, because it didn't give the uh, print out. Okay, let's just put something inside because to string will return you see return 
a strings. Okay, so we need to uh, put it in a string, a new line here, or you can assign a new variable. So animal, it comes from animal, and name it cast one, color it black, or you can do something like, uh, you can try to suppress something like this, and then you will have just name and color. So you run again, you just see name it cast one, and color it black here. So it's up to you how to override it to screen, okay? Um, let's see whether I have anything else to share with you. Okay, I think that's enough for inheritance in Java for you as basic. And then we will talk more about the abstraction later. And we will talk about inheritance a little again in abstraction. So the first thing, you create something very common very common inside. And then after that, you use extend keyword to extend from that class. So this class cast is a subclass and this is a subclass. So by default, a subclass will access some, you know, public uh, methods. It can inherit from the public methods inside the subclass, but it cannot access something like private methods inside. If you want to change something like uh, if you want to try to change some data for attribute inside, we can use gesture, uh, ancestor. If you want to get out, you can use the, the gesture here. So you already knew in the encapsulation lesson. Okay. And let's say we can override a method from super class based, based on our business as well. So by this way, you can have something like common and you can something like very specific in your class. So you can make another uh, class like um, public void. Um, so what is specific from a pet? Mm, uh, I don't think we have any specific here, but let's put something like um, a dummy uh, method to just demonstrate uh, something like uh, because I, I I couldn't think any specifics from a cat um, in the meantime so just put something this is a dummy method so this method you know it's just only existing in the cast not in the dog because the dog is not in her risk from the cast so this is the way we can have some more specific in the cast because dummy method is not something like common. So a dog maybe don't have don't have anything like dummy method inside. So we can have something like that dot dummy method inside. Okay, so it's up to you. You can make more methods inside based on your business requirement. Okay, this is dummy method. Okay. So try to press it and see you in the next tutorial. Uh, bye for now.